Hi, my name is Jim Byrne, Principal Systems Engineer for Data Pivot Technologies. Today I'll be doing a demonstration of Commvault LiveSync. The agenda for today's demo is we're going to do an overview of LiveSync, configure LiveSync, show LiveSync running, review LiveSync when finished, and power up synced VMs for a DR test. And as stated, the first part of our agenda is to go over live sync in action. So here we have two data centers, a primary data center and a cloud data center. In the primary data center, we have VMs backing up to a local media agent, as shown in arrow one. Standby VMs in the secondary data center in our DR site are created in two ways. The first way is to restore blocks from a VM from the local media agent to the DR data center, as shown in arrow two. The second way to do it is to restore our standby VM from data that has been dash copied to a secondary media agent, as shown by arrow four. These are the two ways that you can build standby VMs. So again, you can do it from your primary copy, uh, as shown with arrow two, or you can do it from data that's been dash copied to the DR site, as shown in arrow four. Okay, moving on to the next part of our demo, we're going to configure Live Sync. So let's go ahead and get into the lab here. And let's start off with a quick tour of vCenter where everybody is. These are the VMs here that I'm going to Live Sync. So I have four VMs here, and I just threw another VM over on another ESX host, you know, just to show that you can do it. <laughs> Um, so here we go. So where, where these guys are all going to get live sync to is I just made a couple of resource groups up here just to kind of organize things. And I have a live sync resource group and there's under that I just made another resource group called test. Just and we're going to we're going to live sync everybody into test. And this this test resource group could be sitting on another ESX host. It can even be sitting in another vCenter. So the way this is set up, it's fairly intuitive. Um, you, know, you have a, a vCenter that's already being backed up. And here I have my default backup set. Within my default backup set, I put a couple of subclients in here. I have some production VMs I back up, and I also have uh, some test VMs. This is where we're going to set up our live sync. So all you do is you right click on the, the uh, subclient, go to configuration. Commvault will query uh, vCenter and pull up all the VMs that make up that subclient. So here you can see there's the vCenter. That's the proxy I'm going to use to use to, to do the backups. Now I'm going to do add VMs. And you're going to see the VMs that make up that subclient populate in here fairly quickly. And I'm going to select everybody. That's all five VMs. And I'm not going to um, validate the destination by powering on and off. I'm going to do that manually just as part of the demo to show you. <clears throat> Here you can check unconditionally overwrite the VMs. Uh, typically you want to check this because you can go over to your disaster recovery VMs, power them on. Maybe you just want to do some you know, configuration changes or do some testing. And then when you power the VM off, uh, the next time LiveSync runs it'll just overwrite the VM. So you don't have to worry about things getting out of sync. It'll just overwrite it and put it back the way it was. And here for disk provisioning, I'm going to do thin provisioning because it's a development environment. Uh, so speed is not of the essence. Thin's fine. And I'm going to use NBD mode. Now the way that uh, Commvault set this up, it's really slick. You can select all the VMs so you don't have to do a ton of um, configuration. So what I'm going to do is you highlight everybody click configuration and it just takes a second here to to come up and they have a naming convention that you can use on the top of the uh, screen when this comes up you can pick to use a prefix or a suffix to identify the VMs that you're going to be uh, replicating to and so I usually like to put it on a suffix I always put like a dash uh, DR and this will become clear in a minute Next, you could pick the ESX server that you'd like to use. I'm going to throw them all over on uh, ESX server one. If you wanted to, this could even be another vCenter that you're going to. 
but for my example here I've only got one vCenter configured so I'm going to put it on ESX1 and I'm going to put everybody on my live sync uh, uh, data store that I have set up and this will just take a second the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my resource pool and you could see when we were originally went into vCenter I have a live sync resource pool set up along with a um, test resource pool below that just to keep things organized so we'll see those two come up here alright and I'm not going to bother with a VM folder and the network adapter I'm just going to put it on my lab network um, you know there may be an instance where you have if you're especially if you're going to know the vCenter or there's an ESX host that has different uh, network configuration you can pick what network you'd like to plug into when these uh, DRVMs come online so that's it we have everybody set up and you'll notice here there's all my live sync data stores that I had picked everybody's going to ESX1 and see how I put a dash DR after everybody so when they come up in vCenter you'll see them there and you can tell that these have been live synced and that's it for this screen the only other thing we have to do is uh, schedule a pattern and typically what most people do is you, you set the live sync to run right after the job completes so I'm just gonna call this uh, live sync test and I'll click OK and we'll click OK and it gives you a little warning here that says you're going to you know, unconditionally overwrite VMs and say yes I'm aware I want to do that and now to see what's going on you can here go here and do a live sync monitor and another window opens up down here and you can see all the VMs that we have set up so here's the source here's the destination so now this should become clear to you how this works you have CentOS 6 VM1 is going to go to CentOS 6 VM dash DR and you can see down the line and here you can see all of these guys need to be synced they haven't it's never been done they haven't these VMs have been backed up they just haven't been synced yet now here you can see it picked it up right away um, there's a replication job that started and they do take a little while to get going you usually what you'll see is a source to de source and destination VMs show up in here so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause the uh, the video and I'm gonna come back and I'll we'll pick it up by looking at this replication job so we can see the VMs actually being copied over and we'll go into vCenter and what we'll see happen is in the tasks down here you'll start seeing VMs being created and you'll see them start to show up over in here so with that I am going to pause the uh, the video okay we're gonna start recording again here and let's pick up where we left off here and here's <clears throat> the replication job it started and if you look under virtual machine status you can see some of the VMs are beginning to be created and you can see here's the source VM here's the destination VM the progress so they're they're underway and they're moving right along and if you look in vCenter you'll see things uh, moving in real time you can see the VMs being created and here they are these are our DR VMs being created under live sync under test so they're underway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause now let Commvault uh, finish doing its live sync and then we're gonna review the job to, to show you what it looks like when it's completed and we'll go over and we'll power some of these up to show you how it works and we'll do, do a DR test
Okay, here's an update just to show what <coughs> replication looks uh, midstream. And down here you can see all the VMs. They're all in the process of syncing. You can see there's a sync in progress here. And if we go into the job itself, here's replication running. Uh, here's virtual machine status. You can see the source and destination VMs. All the VMs are created. They're all in progress. And over here you can see the transport mode we're using is NBD mode. And if you were using SAN mode, that would show up over here. If you're using hot add, that would show up as well. And let's go take a look at vCenter. And you can see here's our test resource group. There are all of our VMs. And you can see they have, it shows how much storage is going to be provisioned, 16 gigs. And you can see it only says 1 meg right now because the data is copying over. So at this point, we're going to stop again. And we'll just let this run and we'll check back in when it's all complete and then we can do some DR tests. Okay, so our replication job has finished. And what we're going to do is open it up. And what you'll see here are the virtual machine status. You can see that the status is complete for all of them and everything looks good. We can see the amount of data that was brought across, how many gigs, and here's all of our machines. So everything is good. And down here, let me refresh this, you can see these still say sync in progress. So let me just hit F5, refresh the screen, and now we can see that we are in sync. Now we're going to go over to vCenter. And what I'm going to do is I'll start up this um, Linux machine here. Let's open up a console. And I'm going to open up a console to the Windows machine as well. Okay, we'll turn this one on and we'll turn this one on. We'll bring them both up at the same time. And incidentally, if you do forget to leave these on and you don't shut them down, what will happen is the next time you try to do a live sync, it will fail. It will not overwrite a machine that's been turned on. So this is a crash consistent backup, so that's why this window is like that. So we'll just say start normally. And we can see in the background that the Linux box is firing up. And the name of this machine here is uh, CentOS 6 Client 1. We'll see that come up in a second on the logon log on screen. And there we are. You can see the name of the machine. And it's come up just fine. And this is the Windows machine. And we can see that's booting up just fine. That'll be up in another moment. And I'll slide this over a little bit. And you can see over here in Live Sync. Uh, for test, you can see the VMs are running. So that's uh, pretty much it for setting up Live Sync. You can see it's fairly easy to do. Uh, just you know, right click on the sub client that you want to set up inside a Com Vault, and just really follow the prompts for Live Sync. Not really, not much to it.